Hi there everybody, this is Kelly Gettlefinger with Always Stampin' Videos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel here on YouTube, Always Stampin' Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to use a die as a stencil. So you probably already know this technique, it's just so easy. How can you not see this as a stencil, right? But maybe you haven't seen this technique and if you haven't then I hope you enjoy what I'm going to show you. Uh, so this is the die that coordinates with Stampin' Up's Waves of Inspiration and if you're interested in purchasing any of those um, items or any of the items that you see me demonstrate with from my website my online store is always stampin with kelly.stampinup.net. I'm using this particular hostess code so screenshot now through May, I will send you a special little thank you gift um, in the mail. And if you place a qualifying order of $35 or more, you get invited to my online stamp club, my cyber stamp club. So, anywho, this is a die that comes in the die set. You use it with your cut and emboss machine. This will run through the smaller machine or the larger machine. And when you do this, uh, it trims out a die or a die cut that is shaped like this. It's, it's beautiful. Don't have one to show you. Sorry. Um, but I'm going to, so these little edges here are actually blades. And so I'm going to show you an easy way to um, use this either way as a stencil. This way with blade up or this way with the blade down, which is the simpler way, the blade down. I'm also using the stamp set. Um, did I show you Waves of Inspiration? Here's Waves of Inspiration. Beautiful, beautiful stamp set. And then I'm gonna be using Bottled Happiness today um, along with my Waves of Inspiration die. All right, so here are some colors that I'm going to be using. Bermuda Bay, Pool Party, Balmy Blue. I might pull in some uh, Cajun Craze and Crushed Curry um, if I feel like the video isn't going too long. <laughs> I like to make really super quick videos so that um, you have more time to go make something instead of just sitting here watching it. All right, so let me just kind of push these out of the way. And bring in my cardstock, Bermuda Bay, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I have Pool Party, which is five and a quarter <laughs> by eight inches, five and a quarter by eight inches. And then the Whisper White, well, actually, it's not Whisper White anymore, it's just white, is four three and three quarters by five inches. Yes. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is just fold that um, pool party in half. That is going to get mounted here, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to do it later. So our card is actually going to open like this and the white is going to layer here, but we're going to first stamp it up. So let's do that really quickly. All right, the first thing that I'm going to do is I personally am going, I like to use my dies as stencils with the blade down. But let's say, for instance, you want the swish of this water to go the opposite direction. Maybe you want it to go this way. Um, and so that's perfectly fine. But because this is a blade, I would protect yourself with just another little scrap piece of cardstock. So just hold on to that cardstock like this while you are stenciling with that die and that way you, you don't honestly I'll be honest with you I have held it before and it's not it's never cut me but there's not to say that there there could be a first time <laughs> so let's protect our fingers and you could use a tissue or another piece of paper you could use a sponge a little stamp and sponge uh, so it's up to you but I'm going to use mine with my blade down if you want to ensure um that no slippage you could always uh, tape it down with a piece of washi tape i'm just going to hold on to it because i'm okay if it slips I'm, I'm actually okay with that so i want to use the balmy blue for my stenciling and i have a stipple brush here um, from stampin up these are fantastic to use for 
stenciling and for sponging. Um, I'm also gonna protect my, my mat with a clear window sheet. Again, the clear window sheet is from Stampin' Up. You get two for $5, it's fantastic. I will trim one of mine down to, this is eight and a half by 11, and that way I can use it to journal and do it, work in my art journaling um, process. It protects my pages. And so I'm, I'm gonna protect my mat, not because I care about whether color gets on my mat, but as I am continuing to use my cardstock, um, if I got had some ink on my mat, then I don't wanna pick that up on my other pieces of cardstock. So I'm gonna protect my mat from the color by just putting down a window sheet that I have trimmed down, and then I will ink up. I'm just gonna hold on to my stencil and I actually want to see um, some blue down here. So I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit, not go off the edge. Sometimes I'll go off with the stencil like this. Maybe I want it to go off a little bit. I actually want it on and I'll show you why in just a second. All right, so I'm gonna hold on to that tightly and start sponging. And I'm just burnishing that into the card stock. And like I said, for me personally, this particular stencil, I really don't mind if it um, shifts a little bit. I'm okay with that. I am going outside of the stencil as well as inside of the stencil. You're going to be amazed with what this looks like. It is so cool. I love this stencil, this particular wave stencil. Now, I don't wanna pick up this corner right here. Oh, sorry for the shaky camera. I just noticed that my camera's shaking because I am doing all this rubbing onto my cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna go up onto my cardstock as well. All right, and when I remove the stencil, ooh, look what happens. How pretty is that, right? So cool. So I am gonna go ahead and go down here with some of the blue. There we go. I love that. I think that is so pretty, don't you? Um, I think I wanna add a little bit more up here at the top. When I stencil with these um, really cool brushes, I like to go off onto my cello or my um, window sheet and pull it onto my cardstock because that way I, I pull all the color onto it and I won't get this big blobby um, impression from my stencil brush. Wow, I love that. I think that is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. And then I am going to use um, Pool Party. That was Balmy Blue. I'm going to use Pool Party to create my bottle. Now, my bottle, I actually don't want the entire thing on here. I'm just going to, I just want part of it. Let's see, do I want it this way? So I'm just gonna do it like down here at the corner. Okay, so let me show you earlier what I was talking about. Um, there's just a little bit of ink right here on my um, window sheet from where I just stamped this image. So this is the back of my cardstock. You're not gonna be able to see that, but if I were to accidentally pick some of that up, see, that's why I put my window sheet down. If I were to put, if that were to be on my mat, I might pick it up on one of these two cardstocks and I definitely don't want that to happen. So I hope that makes sense. I'm showing you that so that you understand what I was talking about. All right, um, so there's that. And then I'm going to outline this two-step stamp. Stampin' Up! is famous for their two-step stamping. They're the ones that came up with it, which is really cool. Just gonna put this right down on top. Oh, that is so cute. Okay. And then, you know what? I don't have a phrase picked out, but that's okay, because I'm just gonna leave that right like that. And then I will put a phrase in later and show you a picture of it. 
But um, so that's what I'm going with for now. Now, here's really, this is gonna be so fun. You're just gonna love this. Um, and here's where I got this idea. I personally journaled this page into my um, scripture journal. So I am personally um, doing, trying to do a scripture a day and journaling my scripture a day. And so this was the page where I actually came up with uh, the stenciling idea. And I just love the way it turned out. Isn't that pretty? Uh, so anyway, that's where I got the idea. Now, you're going to love this part of the card. I am creating a pocket card from the elements that I already showed you. So I'm going to go ahead and add my white to my pool party. So I'm just going to add a little music to that. It looks very pretty, very pretty. I can't wait to pick out a phrase to go with it. Now, we're gonna create a pocket card. So before we put this on here, we're gonna trim down the inside portion of our pool party by just tilting it a tiny bit. Just tilt it at an angle, put it in the trimmer, and you can trim this corner to corner if you want um, a very shallow pocket. I kind of want a deeper pocket, so it doesn't matter where you trim it on this side here that's going to be, you know, part of the opening. It's up to you, however deep you want your pocket. So I'm going to make mine probably like two inches from the bottom. So all I'm going to do is just trim that at an angle. I can save this for something else. Add my adhesive to the back, just like I would if I had not cut that um, cardstock down, except I do not want to add adhesive to the top or the trimmed portion of my card. So you see that? I added it to these three sides, but not this one, because that's what's going to create our pocket. And then we just add that to our back mat and check it out there's your little pocket so you have a gift card Oof, no. <laughs> you have a gift card you have a photo let me see if i find, can find a gift card real quick um you know what i can't find a gift card but let's say you want to give somebody a recipe card <laughs> you know you fill out that recipe card you write their favorite recipe on there maybe they've been asking you for something for a while but yeah then there's your little pocket you can even decorate this up if you wanted to stamp it up and uh, make it really pretty. So there you have it. There is my stenciled inside pocket card and I appreciate you being here. Let me know in the comments what you think and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.